Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hey what's up, my name is Casey. Um, today I'm going to be doing another mystery box unboxing and this one is from um, Lux Huntress. Her name is Ty um, and I will link her Instagram and her Poshmark closet down below in the in the description box um, and I will put her name on the screen as well so you guys can check her out if you guys would like to um, but I am a part-time reseller on the Poshmark app as well as Mercari um, my closet name for both shops is at Aloha Hanger um, and that will also be in the description box down below so if you guys want to check out my shop um, and you guys see anything you like feel free to send me an offer I am trying to be, you know, I'm not trying to be a greedy bitch. I'm trying to, um, I'm just trying to get rid of things and give people a good deal. Um, but at the same time, you know, this is a business for me. So please be reasonable with your offers. No low balls. Um, but yeah, let's get on into this box because I have been waiting to open this. I had a really busy weekend and I have been wanting to open this. So... That's what we're going to do today. This is her Lux box. So I believe it's all women's clothes. And it was $45 shipped. She used to do it on Poshmark. But because Poshmark takes her the their little fee. Um, it was just worth more worth it for her to sell it on her own. So I paypal her $45. She sent me the invoice. Um, and this is what I got. So I forgot how many pieces come in it. But... I honestly I just I don't remember it came here like a week ago maybe and it's just been sitting so there it is it looks like oh this is really nice she puts the whole thing <laughs> in a trash bag for protection very nice I love that and it has a scent to it so this she smells good thank you and let me just count this out. They're all folded really nicely in the bag. I'll just show you. So they're all laid out in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so eight items come in this box. And let's just get started. First thing, this is really light. Um, it is from Pink Victoria's Secret. This is a size extra small. And this is really cute. It is a crop top and it says, Gimme the gold. So this is going to be perfect for St. Patty's Day. Um, it's just a white crop top with a little tie in the front. Um, it has like this uh, scoop neck kind of thing going on. I love it personally. Um, the back says, Love pink. And then it's just plain. Um, and... I don't see any flaws. I don't see any stains. I personally hate picking up white things just because every time I get home, I find something. But this looks really good. So, and it smells good. So there's number one. This next piece, oh, okay, is from Eileen Fisher. This is a size small petite. And it is a white and black striped long sleeve top and it feels really nice it almost feels like linen it probably isn't guys you know I don't know my stuff um oh okay <laughs> it's 56% organic linen and 44% organic cotton very very nice so there's that let's just check it over because you know, I like to check oh, check my things over, make sure there's no flaws, no stains. And honestly, I watch Thai stuff a lot. Oh, this is unfortunate. <clears throat> there is a stain on the sleeve. I'm going to have to see if I can get that out. It almost looks like a coffee stain or something. But so far, that's all that I see. So there's that. Eileen Fisher. Hopefully I can get that stain out. I'm pretty sure I, I should be able to treat it. This feels so nice and I love the color. This is by Madewell. 
and it is a size small and it is this like sea foam green top like what is this a cow neck turtleneck kind of thing um, but it is like what is this velvet crushed velvet I don't know but it's super cute made well let's just see what it's made out of Ooh, it still has the uh, remove before washing tag and it does not look like it was washed because you can tell like when it starts fraying um, and it's just polyester and elastin so let's check this baby over this is really nice it almost looks like it's new and I don't see any stains or flaws so that's a good piece this is really cute I honestly think this will be perfect for spring um, this I can see okay it's new with tags and this is by sanctuary and these are like those like suede like velvet pants okay they're a skinny I think they're like a black or a navy it's kind of hard to tell because of the material it's probably black um, but on the ankles they have these zippers here and there's the back it has some pockets on the back sanctuary these look really good what use this string to wear as a bracelet with the peace charm oh, okay so here's the tag thing and then it says you can take off this string and there's a little um, charm right there it's a peace charm it's cool so sanctuary peacock skinny jeans size 26 retailed for hundred and sixteen dollars that's crazy so new with tags sanctuary that's awesome I've never picked up um, anything from sanctuary before and the fact that this is new with tags I'll take it next thing oh I like this oh I've never picked up this brand either this is soft surroundings this is a size extra small so there's a lot of small extra small in this box but it is a purple it almost looks like a thermal and then it has like this embroider I know my light is not the best but I don't know what we would call this embroider or stitching okay so they kind of stitch like I don't know they stitch kind of stitch it on because you can see right here there's a um, a thread coming up and this piece of the design is lifting if you can see that hopefully you guys can tell um, I'm not sure if this is the color or if it's a little faded I'm, I'm thinking it's the color but there's the back right there overall it looks really good so soft surroundings all right sorry you guys I had a delivery so I had to go check on that my daughter wasn't feeling good so she had to stay home today um, but okay this piece is by silence and noise I have picked up this brand a few times this is a medium so a little bigger and this is actually really nice I like this so it has let me see it has a really like a scoop neck kind of thing regular sleeves but it has these two like uh, keyhole cutouts on the side in the front and it looks it does have like a decent length to it so I want to say it's a tunic um, there's the back it's really open but it has like this racer back thing going on in the in the middle and then uh, again it has like that whole um, cutout thing this is mesh right here which is nice you can see through that and then it has like this elastic ruching on the waist or like an empire waist I don't see any holes in the mesh so that's good the underarms look good and you always want to check the stitching on the bottom because I've had that like come out on me as well um, and then it's just a hundred percent polyester but I really like 
this print and I honestly feel like this will be perfect for spring so that's a nice piece I like that one and then we have two more um, this is okay this is just LuLaRoe I don't know how much I'll get for that um, it's a size small and it's just a shirt I think I want to say this is the Irma I could be wrong but I can look it up but yeah it's just LuLaRoe which I'm not that excited for but their pieces do sell and I'm sure you know I'll make something off of it and then the last thing this looks really cute I'm a sucker I love stripes um I've never heard of this brand this is listicle Listicle is a size medium and it's new with tag. It doesn't have a price on it, so I'll have to look it up. But it's this really super cute um, striped tunic, size medium. It does look a little oversized for a medium. I could be wrong. I fit like a large, extra large, um, and it holds up to me nicely. But anyway, um, it has a back zipper there, and then the stripes go like vertical, horizontal, all different directions. I, it's, it does feel a little, yep. Yeah. I was going to say, it feels a little thick here, so it does have pockets on the side, which is always nice. Yep, and there's pockets on both sides. So maybe, no, that looks too short to be a dress. I'm sure it's a tunic. Um, but I'll look up the style. And then I like the neckline. It kind of has like a boxy neckline there with some regular sleeves. This feels like linen, but I could be wrong, like always. And I'm wrong. It's 100% cotton. It really feels like linen, though. 100% cotton and 100% polyester lining. Um, but the stitches look good. I don't see any stains. So that's good. I would hope, you know, because it's brand new. But, yeah. There's that. It doesn't have a price, so I'll just look up the style. Hopefully I can find, like, a photo of it. But this is nice. So let's recap. We got Listicle, brand new with tags. Where was my other brand new with tags? Sanctuary, um, skinny pants. What were these called? Peacock skinny jeans so I'm guessing this is like a really dark teal like or like a blue but it's a skinny with some zippers on there brand new with tags retailed for hundred and sixteen dollars so those two right there I'm sure I'll already make my money back on the box um, this LuLaRoe size small and Lula, Lula Row is oversized so even like me I could wear this and I wear like a large extra large so there's that Lula Row this one was silence and noise I really do like this top that's really pretty this is soft surroundings I think yep yeah. soft surroundings size extra small like a purple thermal almost this one was the made well like a seafoam green, what size was this again? Small, like a crushed velvet almost. This is super cute. This one, what was this? Eileen Fisher. It did have that little stain on the sleeve, um, but it is really faint, so I'm going to see if I can like treat it and get it out right there. And it's only on one side. Yeah, so. There's that, and then this super cute shirt from Love Pink. I mean, <laughs> Victoria's Secret Pink, um, and it says, Give me the gold. So this is going to be super, um, this is going to be a good sell for St. Patty's Day, so I'll go ahead and get that up. So my review on the box, honestly, I like this box. Um, I'm not so excited about the LuLaRoe, I won't lie, but... LuLaRoe does sell you know there's still people looking for it no matter what they're going through there's still people who buy it and I've sold LuLaRoe so overall I'm really happy with this box there was only one item that had a very minor flaw on it and I honestly feel like I will be able to treat that and get it out so I'm not really worried um, but considering I got you know Eileen Fisher, Madewell, Sanctuary, brand new with tags 
that um, lists what was this again? This is super cute though. If, if this was a bigger size, I may have kept this because I love stripes. Um, list, listicle, no wet tags. I overall, I am really happy with this box. And you know, Tai, she has a good reputation with her boxes. Um, like people are just really happy with what they get. And honestly, $45 shipped. I would pay that again for another box um, for eight items. Let me go ahead and just do the math, all right? Um, so, how much did we pay? $45 divided by eight. So it's about $5.63 a piece, $5.62. Um, here, I'll show you guys. Why not? I'll show you. The price per item, obviously, it's a little high. But compared to past re reseller boxes that I have gotten, um, I am happy with this. I am not worried about making my money back and making a profit. I'm confident that if I were to purchase another box, you know, it would be items that are in equally as good condition. Um, and this is, you know, this top... I can see why she missed it because it is really faint um, so yeah I'm not worried about getting that out but yeah you guys overall I am really happy with the box that I got five something per piece I'm not happy you know I don't know about the LuLaRoe this the the Victoria's Secret top it's really cute I could see but I could see myself maybe getting like 15 20 for this 15 to 20 like it selling for that much so after fees of course it cuts down a little bit I'm not worried about making that five dollars and some change back um, This LuLaRoe will pr probably sell like 15 to 20 as well um, This silence and noise I want to say maybe 20 25 if I'm lucky um, This soft soft surroundings I'm not sure about this, maybe $20, just because of the style. <clears throat> this made well, I'm hoping maybe $30, $35. It's a really cute style. This Eileen Fisher, because it's organic, if I can get that stain out, I want to say maybe $35 to $40. I'm just like guessing prices on the top of my head. Don't take my word for it. Um, this Sanctuary Pants, because it's brand new with tags, it retails for $116. I'm going to probably list it a little higher and just see how it goes. But yeah, I'm hoping maybe $45 to $50 bucks on these pants. And then this uh, listicle top, I'm not sure what it retails for. But because it's brand new with tags, I'm hoping maybe like $25 to 30 but of course you know Poshmark takes their fees and if somebody sends me an offer that is reasonable I'm gonna take it um, but yeah I'm not worried about making my money back I feel like this box was awesome I will link Ty's um, Poshmark as well as her Instagram down below she is always um, doing like Instagram stories and when she does come out with boxes you will hear about it there and then you can message her through Instagram and she will send you the invoice through PayPal um, so yeah, I'm really happy with this box and I probably, I probably will end up buying another one from her. Um, but yeah, if you guys are new here, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join my little Ohana that I have here. I would love to have you guys. And also don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you guys enjoyed this. Um, it really helps my channel a lot and I appreciate it tons. If you guys are sellers yourself and you guys have mystery boxes go ahead and leave your closet name down below I'll go ahead and check out your mystery box I'm not saying that I will purchase it but if it is reasonable um, then I might you know and then I might review it on my channel because I have been really into mystery boxes lately and you know I really want to do thread up but I've heard like different things about it um, but if you guys are a reseller yourself and you guys do mystery boxes, I would love to check out your mystery boxes. I may purchase one um, and do a video review on it. And, you know, I just like to support other resellers. Um, so, 
yeah, I'm going to stop rambling and I really hope that you guys enjoy this one. Go ahead and leave your thoughts down below in the comments. I would love to chat with you. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day or night wherever you guys are. And until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Aloha.